This is a production of Cornell University. Okay, this is a quick demonstration of collecting seeds from a shoot of Salix nigra collected from the wild. We're using the Dirt Devil Scorpion vacuum with the crevice tool attached with a piece of nylon mesh behind the crevice tool so that the seeds that we vacuum will be captured in the nylon mesh. Now, we brought the shoot in from outside. We're keeping it in the lab because it was covered with insect pests, so probably not a great thing to bring into the greenhouse. And you can see that just in a bucket of water, these catkins that were pollinated outdoors are now releasing seed that we're going to vacuum up with the vacuum. Okay, I should have mentioned the other trick is that we have the vacuum plugged into a rheostat, a Variac rheostat, so we can adjust the voltage uh, and turn down the speed of the vacuum motor so that it doesn't suck everything off of the chute. So now we have seeds collected on the nylon mesh. We're just going to transfer those to a Ziploc bag. a little ball of cotton and then zip up the Ziploc bag and then just blow a puff of breath into the bag and that humid air plus a little bit of flicking causes the seeds to drop off of the cotton and you can collect the seeds in the corner of the bag. So we have probably a few dozen willow seeds collected off those catkins in a few seconds and then we store those in the refrigerator. The next step is to just pinch the corner of the bag, cut it with a pair of scissors and then uh, collect the seeds on a piece of paper and just with a paintbrush uh, clean away any chaff or cotton so you have a nice clean uh, lot of seeds ready to sow. So to sow willow seeds we plant them in sunshine mix number five seed starter mix which we've used to fill 10 by 20 flats here with 8 by 12 cell inserts. Those inserts are put into a tray that has slots in the bottom so that the water can drain out and then we put that into a tray with no slots to hold the water. So we need to properly hydrate the potting mix. You want to do that with a nozzle that has very fine mist and then very lightly sweep the nozzle over the potting mix, very evenly wet it. You don't want to douse the potting mix and that, which then forces the perlite to float on top when it gets flooded. So the potting mix when it comes is very dry. You need to make sure it's properly hydrated before you sow the seeds. And then We'll see later on, after we sow the seeds, we're going to water from below by putting water in the tray. Okay, so to sow the seeds, we use this uh, vibrating uh, seed sowing machine. It's called the Vibro Hand Seeder from Grow More. <laughs> and you see that uh, when you push the button, it vibrates uh, that V-shaped uh, trough there, and the seeds come out uh, one by one on the tip there. So it's very easy to sow one seed at a time in our trays. Oh. 
So if you're careful to sow one seed per cell, it uh, dramatically reduces your workload a couple weeks later so that you don't have to be thinning seeds out. Usually we have very high germination rates for willow, typically above 90% if the seeds were healthy when they were collected. So you can sow a flat like this in about a minute, 96 cells. So any excess seeds can be stored at minus 80. So we just pour our excess seeds into a cryo tube. Probably another 300 seeds there. successfully stored seeds for years at minus 80 Celsius. So the next step is to mist with a spray bottle here. That just adds a little bit more moisture right to the surface and uh, sort of filters the seed down into a little nook and cranny in the potting mix. The seeds are going to germinate within hours. Typically, within four to six hours, you'll see the green cotyledons emerging from the seeds. And then next, we're gonna put some clear plastic domes on top, keep that high humidity during the germination period. And then finally, we're gonna water from below to make sure that the potting mix is saturated. So we're going to put uh, you know, about three quarter inch of water in the bottom of the tray so that can soak into the potting mix and make sure it's fully saturated during the germination period. It's important as you're filling the trays to make sure there are no chunks in the potting mix, that you break up any chunks uh, so that uh, there's full contact of the potting mix with the holes in the bottom of the tray. So, you, so that you get good capillary action with the water uh, hydrating the pot. Control of soil moisture during the first two weeks of seed germination is critical. After that first 24 hours when the soil was soaking in water, you want to empty the bottom tray and allow the soil to dry out for 24 hours. From that point on, every day you want to fill the tray with water, let it soak it up for about 10 minutes, then drain the tray and allow the soil to dry for the next 24 hours. After about 10 days, when you see the first true leaves, you want to remove the bottom tray completely and water from above. What you see here is watering from above with a fine misting nozzle after the seedlings are about three weeks old. This has been a production of Cornell University, on the web at cornell.edu.